Okay, so the first card is Romance. So it looks like something really good is coming in. Over here you've got uh, Venus sitting in Taurus, and that is in its own sign. So there looks like there might be a new romance coming into your life as well. Something that makes you very, very happy. Uh, there might This person might be also very, very financially lucrative as well. So, you know, um, it looks like it might be something long-term as well. This person makes you feel really good about yourself. Now, you've got the protection card over here. So you've got... Uh, the moon sitting in uh, Aries here. So you're being, you know, you are protecting yourself uh, quite a bit. You might even be looking after children here. So there's something that you are, you love a lot, that you're very, very up in arms about. You're very protective about whatever that situation is. Uh, you don't want any harm to come to whatever it is that you love. So you are in a very, very defensive, very, very protective um, um, energy right now. Now you've got the risk card over here, so there's some kind of new job opportunity coming in for you and you might need to take a risk in that. So, you know, you need to go for it. You've got Saturn here in Aries, so being focused on your work, but also needing to take that risk, needing to take that leap of faith. You can see this man is being followed by a bear here, and bears generally uh, represent, you know, big jobs or jobs in big companies. This might be the solution to your money problems that you're having. So some kind of new job opportunity coming in for you, and you might need to take a chance and go for it. So in the past, you've got the concentration card over here. So this is being very, very focused on uh, work, maybe, because you've got... Um, Saturn here and you've got Saturn in Gemini, but also maybe dealing with a lot of problems at work uh, where you're having communication problems, where there's a lot of fights and arguments going on. Maybe you're not being allowed to say. You can see this person's lips are being restricted. There's a lot of swords, so maybe a lot of people are saying a lot of nasty things to you as well because Gemini energy, you know, generally is about communication, but it's also not a very, very good energy uh, that comes in from the Gemini, uh, you know, it, it's one of those planets that, um, you know, uh, can bring in a lot of uh, disruption. And, you know, if it's got Saturn here, Saturn is a planet of restriction. So being restricted with your communication, but a lot of people might be saying things that are really nasty to you or maybe restricting you with their words. So maybe they're preventing you from doing things and maybe they have, you know, very sharp tongues. So you've been dealing with a lot of, uh, you know, uh, uh, people saying nasty things to you. Almost a kind of a verbal abuse uh, situation going on over there. Then you've got the innovation card over here. So you've been coming up with a lot of bright new ideas about your job. And maybe you have got a new, a lot of new things to say. And maybe this is makes people jealous or maybe they don't want to hear it. And, you know, they don't want to listen to whatever your take is on that situation. So you've been dealing with a lot of, um, you know, very, very disruptive energies, but you're coming up with a lot of brand new ideas. Maybe this makes people jealous and this is why they're trying to, you know, put you down. So going into the future, you've got the organization card over here. So you need to actually focus on your work uh, because you've got uh, Mercury here in Saturn. So this is about focusing your energies and your thoughts and uh, your ideas on work. It seems to, you know, that's where you're going to be going. And this is going to be the thing uh, that brings in, um, you know, uh, finance. Mercury in Saturn is also about thinking a lot about the job and uh, organization. So this is being very, very organized with that Mercury sitting in Capricorn there. And then you've got the fulfillment card over here. So this is really good. So there's a, you know, Saturn sitting here in Sagittarius and you can see lots of money coming in, the ships coming in over here. So there, it looks like, you know, you're going to get a lot of rewards. So you just keep going as far as your work goes, uh, you know, with your new ideas, focus your energies on that work and doing the best you can at it. And it looks like you're going to get a, a good payoff. It looks like your ships are coming in there. Uh, with this fulfillment card. And it looks like, you know, bags of money coming in. So it looks like, you know, a good payoff coming in for you in the future. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to use the Game of Thrones tarot for this particular read. I have done a deck review and I will put in a link at the end of the video so you can watch that deck review um, as well. So let's see what these cards have got to say. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got judgment. So you are being called to make a decision to actually leave a situation. You're being called to make a decision to change your direction in life. So you are at the crossroads. It looks like, you know, with the judgment card, it's about achievement. So you, you know, you're at the end of some kind of cycle as far as, you know, in your work, maybe in your life as well. And you are being called to see things from a very, very different angle or do things from a very different angle 
or go back in and complete something that you may not have finished in the past. So maybe there's a course of study that you haven't completed or there's some kind of work that you wanted to always do and you never got around to doing it. You're being called to actually make that decision to change uh, directions or change paths. Now, the judgment card is usually about karma or karma. It's about, uh, you know, um, achieving whatever you've been putting in. So if you've been working very hard and putting a lot of effort into something, it looks like rewards come in with this particular card. So you're being rewarded for all the hard work that you have been putting into any kind of project. And this is karmic, so it's about the universe giving you uh, that reward. So what's happening with you? You've got the Five of Cups and the Nine of Spears. So you've been going through a lot of, uh, you know, this is about disappointments and depression and regrets. And maybe, you know, you wanted to do something and you never got to do it. And, uh, you know, you are crying over it. You're looking a lot to the past and thinking about the things that you didn't fulfill. You got the nine of spheres over here. So you've been going through a lot of problems recently, and maybe this is what's made you feeling feel as though you know you haven't achieved, you've had goals in your mind and you haven't gotten around to doing it, or it hasn't come to fruition, and you know you're very, very unhappy about that. Uh, and you know, you're in a very defensive position over here. You want victory, uh, and you're still having to fight a lot of problems and um, you know, battles, and you really are very worn out and very feeling very isolated, very alone, uh, you know, feeling very despondent at this particular moment. So not a very good energy to be in at all. You've got the death card over here in the last year. It seems like you made some kind of big change over here. Um, you know, you've cut away things that were no longer serving you. You have actually sliced them out of your life. So something has come to an, uh, you know, abrupt end, some kind of uh, aspect of your life. Um, and it's also been a permanent end. So a permanent change has come in for you in this past year. And it seems like it's got to do with a shift away from that past. So you have moved completely away from that past and it's been very sudden very abrupt and it's left you up in arms as well so you know you are still you have cut it out but you know you are very defensive this nine of um spears is also a very defensive card as well you know waiting for the next battle being prepared for the next battle but being very exhausted by fighting so many things now you've got the devil card over here so whatever situation you were dealing with and you're you know in the last three months has been very manipulative negative very very uh energetically draining maybe people have been keeping um you know, in the dark about a lot of things as well and maybe a lot of people have been stirring up a lot of problems for you as well and maybe this is the reason why you have got this feeling of five of cups which is feeling very very unhappy very despondent very very miserable you know there's been a lot of drama going on over here and you can only focus on that drama you know right now you're not being even able to see anything in the future because uh, this person this devil card has been causing so much of problems uh, you know they've got you focused on all the negative things or ne negative aspects and you're not being able to make uh, you know positive changes for the future now you've got the ten of spears over here so you have been carrying a lot of responsibilities it's been weighing you down maybe whatever you've been doing maybe being very chained to that particular job you're doing carrying a lot of responsibilities and burdens not seeing what is coming ahead of you this man can barely see ahead and you know your mind is clouded it's tired uh, after carrying all these responsibilities so you're carrying all these responsibilities with the nine of um spears as well there's a lot of responsibilities and burdens as well and you can see the mind is completely blocked you you can't see anything right now uh, you're very very tired very very exhausted very very unhappy as well so going into the future you've got the two of spheres so a dis you, you know you you are going to make some kind of decision uh, about moving away so something is preventing you from moving you've got this um barrier here so you want to move away from it you're waiting for some kind of communication to come in so maybe you've put out your cv or maybe you have been communicating with people about trying to leave the situation this could be a situation that's going on in your work life or this could be even a situation that's going on in your personal life something's preventing you from moving on whatever your responsibilities you've been carrying it's been weighing you down you're not allowing you're not being able to see the the light of day really and something is preventing you from going forward you're waiting for some kind of big news to come in some kind of big change to come in that's going to make a big difference because this person is waiting for a dragon to come in so you want something big a shift to come in that moves you out of this being stuck behind this barrier being stuck in this situation 
So going into the future, you've got the Eight of Coins over here. So you are working very, very hard. Whatever it is, you're putting all your effort into it. It might be even that you're doing the same thing day in and day out. But you're learning a lot on the job and you're becoming an expert at it. But it seems like that's where all your focus has been. So all of these burdens and responsibilities might be just be because of your work and because of your fo focus on your work. And around you, you've got the five of coins. So whatever you're working at, you know, you're not really getting paid too well. You're still needing to get some kind of financial assistance and you're still lacking in a lot of material things that you need. So, you know, this could be also, you know, you might be having some health problems as well because of all the stress that you're undergoing because it seems like you're very, very stressed out as well. Five of coins could be, you know, you could be feeling a bit ill at the moment, um, you know, having some health problems, but also it's, it's a card about, you know, not having enough uh, and, you know, needing to ask or even beg for assistance or beg for material things, asking for other people to give you that helping hand. Maybe this is the reason why you want to leave this particular job. So with that two of spears being, you know, you've got plans in your head and you want to leave it. So on your mind, it seems like you do want to end the situation. So it's the ten of coins. You want to get, you know, finish the cycle of work and you want to move on. And you're hoping when you finish, you know, you, you want some kind of payoff as well with this ten of coins. So going into the future, you've got the chariot, the magician, and the nine of swords. So with the chariot is definite achievement. So whatever you've been working so hard at. Now you can see with this chariot, there's this huge, um, it looks like a, a, some kind of a monster with teeth in it. Uh, you know, and it looks like, you know, you're going to finally get all that people are standing up to it, you see. And it looks like whatever this thing is that has been keeping you hostage, whatever this job is, whoever's been manipulating you, you're going to be able to stand up against that person, take control of that situation, and you're fighting back right now. <coughs> Excuse me. The chariot card is about movement, so you might be moving home, or you might be even changing jobs. There's definitely some kind of relocation, but you're standing up against uh, to this person, and there's victory in the air there. So it looks like um, you know you will achieve everything that you set your mind to and you will overcome this big problem that is you are being faced with. You've got the magician card over here. So this is you manifesting it. So it looks like you're going to take the power back into your hands. You have all the tools that you need and you're going to be able to make things happen for yourself. You've got the nine of swords over here. This is still feeling a little bit, uh, you know, anxious about doing things. And, you know, with this wolf uh, here, um, you know, it looks like, uh, you know, you want to break free. You are ready to leave the situation. Uh, you want to move on. You also could be dealing with a lot of very negative people around you, uh, you know, coming across as, you know, as the wolf, as somebody who is sneaky and unhappy, um, uh, nasty. The magician card also is, is a card that, you know, it's got two sides. To it. It's about your manifestation. But it's also the people that you deal with could be very, very manipulative. Magician is a manipulative manipulative card and they could be saying things to you and getting you to do things that you really don't want to be doing at this particular moment and they are very you know with the nine of swords it's about being restricted and you know it's also about that anxiety and expecting that worst case scenario so being afraid to act with this uh um, nine of swords you know having problems sleeping at night being very very anxious about you know uh, things going co completely wrong so you could be dealing with very very nasty negative energies around you but it looks like you will conquer that because you've got that chariot card over here you can see all these people uh, up in arms at this with this person so this could be this magician person that you're dealing with who's a bit of a bu bully over there coming across as that wolf restricting everybody but it sees that it seems like there's some kind of uprising and a victory over that particular um, person or that particular situation so you will overcome it it looks like you know you've had enough and you are now ready to leave the situation um, you know you're very anxious very stressed out and it looks like you know you want to put an end to all these problems that you're going through and it looks like you will uh, you know be victorious and you are being called by that judgment card this is a card of victory the judgment card it's ending that particular cycle and getting out of that situation and the universe is giving you the thumbs up the go ahead for it <coughs> excuse me 
We've got the Eight of Winter over here. So you can see that cage door is opening here. And you can see there's a lot of communication. So you will free yourself from the situation. It is so easy to convince yourself that you are trapped when you really aren't. Trust that God will lift you to new heights and give you a greater self-confidence if you affirm your freedom. So you need to stand up for yourself. If this person is giving you problems, you need to really round up the troops. So there are people around you that are also feeling the same as you are. You can see there are people around you also talking about being trapped. So you need to round up people or, or you know, get into contact with like-minded people who share your views and uh, formulate some kind of plan to sort this problem out. So, you know, you need to get that support from people around you. You've got the Ace of Spring over here. So a wonderful opportunity of uh, presents itself it may come as a surprise but you will want to leap into action and passionately pr pursue every possibility so it looks like there's some brand new energy coming in with this ace of springs so this is the beginning there's a new moon there and maybe there's a new opportunity that's coming an opportunity for you to get out of that cage getting get out of that situation that you're stuck in and it may come as a communication for you so you are going to get some kind of news and you're going to be able to get yourself out of the situation of being stuck and then you've got the four of winter over here. Thoroughly thinks, think things through before making a decision. Continuing to overanalyze it isn't going to get you any closer to the resolution. Um, but meditation and prayer will bring you the answers you seek. So with the four of winter, it's about, you know, being very stressed out, needing to take a little bit of a rest, feeling a little bit, um, you know, under the weather because of all the stress that you've been in. You need to take a step back. Talk to people, round up some people that are there to support you. And if a new opportunity presents itself, which it looks like it is going to, you need to uh, accept it. Make sure that you are investigating it very thoroughly before you do anything, though. You know, this is a card about looking very deeply into a situation before you actually accept any kind of offers. But it looks like, you know, you there is somebody there that's going to be able to help you and give you that support that you need to get you out of this situation. So whatever you're going through, it looks like there is support coming in for you and you will be able to free yourself from being trapped in a situation, being manipulated. So I hope this reading resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.